Proverbs 31 verse 30 Charm is deceptive, and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. This is the testimony of Brother Tiago Susi about the judgment awaiting men and women attached to beauty and adornment and vanity, for all flesh is like grass, and all its glory like the flowers of the field, the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord stands forever, I greet your brother in Christ's name, I am Tiago Souza, brothers I am recording once again this testimony to the glory of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. This is the testimony of a rapture that the Lord in his infinite grace and his infinite mercy gave me about ten months ago, today is October 10, 2018, at the beginning of the year in January the Lord gave me this vision, I was praying brothers for days, I was in a personal campaign of prayer, I mean together with my wife we were in a prayer campaign at home, as these prayer continue, one day as we were praying at night at two in the morning, in fact we were praying endlessly and we prayed without ceasing as it is requested in God words, it is also written in the book of Joel that in the last days God says, I will pour out my spirit upon all people, your sons and daughters will prophesy, your young men will see visions, and your old men would see dreams, and for ten consecutive days I prayed to God with my wife, and in the tenth day the glory of God manifested. I remember that I talked to God in my prayer and I asked the Lord for divine experience of heaven and hell, after the end of the prayer I went to sleep and I lay down, that's when the Lord snatched me, the Spirit of God took my spirit and led me to a supernatural dimension, God's Spirit led me to a world beyond our reality, a world that is real and physical, yet a world that we can only see with the vision of the Spirit, it was a spiritual dimension. We can only visit this world with the soul not the body, beloved this was a terrible and powerful vision, so much so that when I came back to the body I did not remember anything I just remembered that he took me back to the earth, I needed 12 hours in order to recover my memory, brother and sister I went to a place that I would like to describe to you, I have actually managed to draw some pictures that I downloaded just so you can have an idea and a notion of what was that place like. I believe the world that I visited was a place of torture, a place of torment, it was a huge place without end, when I was in that dimension the moment I tried to look up, I saw the color of the sun yet there was no sun in this world, it was illuminated by a light similar to the color of the sunlight very strong, the temperature was really hot there, I observed that place and the landscape, I saw the land and the plain and there was a lot of dust, I could not see the end of that place. I was contemplating this world and it was so real, beloved in this place there were buildings as if they were stone walls, there were constructions with huge stones, I do not know how to describe the construction, I cannot call these building houses because I never saw this on earth, it's out of the earth, it's inexplicable and it does not exist here in our world, I was watching these strange building and construction, Suddenly I saw coming out of these stones construction a numbers of demons and unclean spirit, these demons were more than three or four meters high, they had lots of muscle for they were massive and robust, I remember that these giant humanoid demon had too much mass and they were larger, when I look at their face I notice from their mouth that they had teeth like shark, in fact I can say that their mouth was like that of shark and their teeth also seems like that of shark. I put the image of the teeth of shark in the video so you can imagine how it was, the situation is terrible, these are the image of demons that I saw who had human body and they were gigantic, with bald head, the skin of their bodies were terrible, their eyes were like a flame of fire that could penetrate the depth of your eyes, and when I thought of running away from that place, there was no way because this is a place surrounded by a mysterious and unexplained force, an evil power and when you think of running your legs cannot move you cannot run away from this place, there were devils everywhere, these demons were cladded, their backs seem as if it were a tortoise shell, they were terrible, beloved brothers, I am not describing them to you to scare you to get you to panic but to alert you that this place exists, and the end time is approaching, my brothers, in this spiritual world there were demons holding chains, huge thick blacks chain, that served to bind the souls that were captive, then I saw that there was an endless queue of people, a queue of deceased souls which was infinite, in this spiritual dimension I saw hundreds and thousands of naked people, they were damned souls, and they were in the queue, after all, 
soul that are in hell has no clothes, the structure of the place of torture was terrible it was scary, when I got to this place, quickly I noticed that these lost souls that were there were beautiful, there were women who had beautiful hair and women who had painted themselves, I saw men of handsome appearance, this was actually the section of people that only care for their appearance, their look and beauty was what matter when they were on the earth, during their life on earth they only worry about beauty, fame and luxury, their self esteem and pride was motivated by the beauty of their physical bodies, which had become idolatry, this section of the place of torment was for people who are concerned only with their outside appearance, they did not care for their souls, they did not wonder what will happen to them when their body will die and rot, and they did not mind their spiritual life, even those who come to church they took care of their body more than their soul, though they come to church they resorted to beauty product, makeup and vanity to beautify themselves for beauty was a must for them, this place was terrible, no one would want to come to this place, it was just one more place in the infernal structure of hell and where the demons torture people, this place was very hot, you can imagine a place of more than 50, 70 and 80 degrees, you cannot imagine how hot that place is, during this encounter, there was a man who had a celestial body of light by my side, I believe that man was the Holy Spirit of God who was by my side, I could not see him with naked eye because the light was very strong, but I saw the reflection of his bright on my side, the Holy Spirit was talking to me telepathically, my strength was the Holy Spirit of God, yet I was still fearful there in hell, I was terrified and thinking about what they were going to do with me, in this place of torment I could not handle the fact that I was going to stand in the large queue of people, yet this queue led to a cauldron, that was enormous, endless line of people were line up before cauldron of hell, which was of silver color, it was really giant and we do not have these kind of things here in the material world, I observe inside this cauldron, I saw that there was a dirty liquid boiling in high temperature and bubbling, it was very hot, then I saw that there was a demon who was the personification of pride, this demon was responsible and in charge of that cauldron, he had his name on his hand, the demons of pride is the one that was managing the queue of lost souls, I watches as souls of men and women who spent their life adorning themselves to be beautiful were led to the cauldron that was managed by the demon pride, and when each soul arrived before that cauldron, I saw the demon of pride getting that boiling liquid that was boiling and bubbling and the demon was pouring this hot and corrosive liquid on the face of each lost soul that was on the queue, I saw that these lost souls did not run away and they had no place to run, there was a powerful force that controlled these souls, as much as they wanted to escape they had neither the strength nor the capacity, brothers and sisters I saw that demon taking the hot liquid that was bubbling from within that cauldron pouring it to the first soul precisely on the person's head and that liquid was running down the face, descending to the person's body, that liquid was so corrosive that it destroyed the face and the body of the person, imagine an acid falling on your skin, this liquid was heated in high temperature, when this demon did that I saw the person's skin falling on top of that dust it was horrible, there were animal skin on the floor, the people who spend their lives beautifying themselves and applying makeup to look attractive were subjected to this treatment by demons, I would like to warn ladies using makeup, beauty product and vanity, given that this product belong to the enemy, unless you separate from them, your face that you paint and decorate will be destroyed by a liquid heated in the cauldron of hell in high temperature, you have been painting yourself with product of the enemy therefore the demons of hell will spill corrosive liquid heated in high temperature on your skin to remove your skin because you use their product to beautify yourself, using articles of the enemy give them legality over us, I had the impression that the demons hated the skin of these people's faces which they were destroying with hot liquid, I saw people's skin falling down, they dropped right on top of a very large animal skin on the ground, and when the liquid was in each person's face their skin fell from their faces with pieces of flesh from the face which also fell, the face of these lost souls were disfigured, I saw the devils gathering those skin in cargoes, I do not know what they did with it because they gather them together, and every person that was in that queue went through this torture process because the soul does not die, the people in the queue would join the queue after being disfigured and they would go through the process of torture again, it was an endless torture, 
brothers this torture does not end there is no end, the process is repetitive, let's not go there, we have to repair our lives while it's time, let's leave the vanity, let's not worry about the appearance of the world, all the beauty and appearance of this world is vain and will pass but the words of the Lord remains forever, I was in that queue, my brothers and when it came to my turn and I arrived before the cauldron and the demon of pride, this demon threw the hot liquid at my face, thank God I did not feel pain and my flesh did not melt it did not dissolve, for the Holy Spirit was beside me, I talked to him in a telepathic way in the spiritual world, whenever I thought something the Holy Spirit answer my thought, when the demon of proud was about to pour the hot liquid on me I tell the Holy Spirit I will not be able to endure this pain. The Holy Spirit told me I brought you to see what is happening in this section of hell and to see the judgment of people that are attached to vanity, beauty and luxury, the Holy Spirit said to me I am softening your pain and you will not feel pain that these souls are enduring here, brothers it was terrible, I remember it as if it was today, the people who were in this sector of hell were people who only cared about vanity while they were here on earth, they worried about their body while they were here on earth. They certainly did not care to please God, they certainly did not bother to pray and fast in order to maintain a holy life, yet the Lord said be holy because I am holy, this place that I was granted to see is just one of the sector of hell, I could not see fire in this part of hell yet there was hot temperature, there are many part of hell and there are many places, though I saw no fire but I felt like I was in hot fire because it was extremely hot, so hot that you cannot withstand the heat of temperature. I was overwhelmed by terror for it's a place underground ruled by giant devils and horrible demons, let us watch and pray so that we don't fall in temptation let fix our life today, let's get to the Lord, let's get on our knee and seek his face while he can be found, brother and sister you do not want to go the you do want to be condemned, you do not want to suffer in the hands of demons, which is much worse, and then to be thrown into the lake of fire on the last day of the judgment of the white throne. I implore you to live a life of fasting and prayer for the Lord would come back any time, the trumpet would sound any moment, Jesus is coming back, let's dedicate on ourselves to prayers, I'll keep looking for God face, I'll keep praying because more powerful secret will be revealed by God in this end time to his people for time is finished, for what A's has not seen ears has not heard these are things that the Lord has prepared those love and seek him.